Welcome back, everybody. This is Seijian, the final level of Descent Maximum. And I'm going to be using my Gout Cannon here because there are a lot of bomb laying robots in this level. And they all drop Smart Mines. Oh! This is it, guys. We have come to the end of the road. Yep, this is where it all ends, at long last. And not only is this the final video of this Let's Play, but this is the final video for me to record on my old potato computer before I finally switch back to my gaming computer. Whoa, look out! <laughs> I didn't realize my cloaking device expired until the boards had started firing at me. Anyway, here is the blue key right here, and... Hello, Guidebot, how are ya? Okay, uh, let's go this way. Clear out some more robots. You know what, the happy, uh... uh upbeat music of this level really fits the, uh... The tone of what's happening. The fact that this is the final level of this Let's Play, and the fact that I'm gonna be getting my gaming PC hooked back up in my room pretty soon. Which means I'll go back to streaming live on Twitch, and I'll be resuming my LPs of Serious Sam 3 and Dust and Elysian Tale. And where did that bomb lane robot go? Eh, uh, whatever. I'll come across it eventually. Oh! Hi, Thief! Where do you think you're going? Now, I'm pretty sure some of you are wondering how long it's going to take for me to uh, get back to Serious Sam 3 and Death. Well, it's going to take quite a while for me to resume those LPs. Um, for two reasons. One, I have to replay those games back up to the point where I left off because of the fact that my files couldn't be saved. And two, I'm going to wait until I get a second drive installed into my computer so that I'll have two drives. My main drive for storing all of my files and my other drive for storing all of my videos. Yeah, because the only drive I got in my gaming PC right now is my uh, solid state drive. And that bastard stole my quad lasers. Up. Okay, will you just freaking die already, thief? Fucking die! Fucking die! There we go. Give me back my quad lasers. All right, now that the thief is out of the picture, let's head on down to the yellow doors. Get the red key and take care of the boss robot. Yeah, if you're familiar with Descent 2, you might know who the uh, boss robot of this system is going to be. Ow. Hey, don't go hide from me. I'm here. Alright. Oh, by the way, my Mega Cannon working? Oh, it is working. Okay, cool. I thought I was going to have that stupid glitch again, but nope. Deeper bot. And cool. Extra life. Extra life number 42. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> You thought you could outwit me, huh? Well, guess again. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's take care of a couple more board heads. Pass these grades and watch out for those smart missiles. Alright, there's one. 
Now for the other one. There we go. And let's go ahead and place a couple of smart mines there. And a couple right here, because once I grab this red key in front of the exit, those trap doors will open and unleash a couple of spiders. And no spawn. Huh. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, so, now that we've got the red key, and since we shot those panels to open up these force fields, we now got ourselves another extra life and another Earthshaker missile. And, um, actually, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. I want to go get the guide bot. Now, sorry I'm not saying much. I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoying the music here. This music is just a reminder of the fact that I'm that I'm near the end of this let's play and that I'm so close to getting my new computer hooked back up in my room. I can start streaming again on Twitch. Anyway, here is the boss robot right here, armed with Earthshaker missiles. And he can only be damaged from behind. So yeah, a great method of attack is to fire behind the boss robot, and oop, try to get him from behind that way. And there goes my invulnerability. Well, let's go ahead and grab the other invulnerability over here, and as a matter of fact, since I am cloaked, I'm going to go ahead and use my mega missiles here. Sorry, guide bot! Didn't mean to, uh, blast you with my missile. Is that the best you can do? Oh! I am no longer cloaked, and my cloaking device is about to go! Or, not my cloaking device, my invulnerability, I mean. Okay. Let's grab this other invulnerability in here, and hopefully I can finish off the boss robot with my three remaining Earthshaker missiles. There it is. Oh, and he's cloaking. Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. I right, got back up against the wall. Okay, here we go. And I got him! Alrighty. And with one Earthshaker missile left to spare. So, let's head on beyond the yellow doors and make our way on out of here. Alright, there's the exit. Let's go ahead and exit! And that was Seijan, and that was Descent Maximum, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, at long last, we have reached the conclusion of this mission pack. And so, with that, there is only one thing left to do. Let's view the closing credits. So, there we are, folks. The people that made this wonderful mission pack... So, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play of Descent Maximum. I hope you enjoyed it as much as you enjoyed my co-op Let's Play of Descent Maximum. And I never really talked about my thoughts on this mission pack in full detail. Well, it is really good. I am really, uh, really into the fact that it's short and simple. And basically, I think this is like um, a great way to introduce newcomer to the Descent franchise. To, uh, uh, to this kind of gameplay mechanics. Yeah, to 
to be able to teach them about like the switches and puzzles and the robots you'll encounter in Descent 2 and whatnot. I think this is a great way to introduce people to the mechanics in Descent 2 before getting into Descent 2 Counter-Strike. So yeah, I really recommend uh, this mission pack. And if anyone never played Descent 2, I would say check out this mission pack first before going to the original Descent 2. Because this mission pack is much simpler, much easier, much shorter, and you can quickly pick up on the robot that you'll encounter and what you'll need to do in certain parts of the level, like what you have to do when you shoot certain switches and whatnot. So, that is that. And, um, yeah, like I said earlier, I will go ahead and resume my Let's Plays of Serious Amp 3 and Dust and Elysian Tale uh, once I get back to the points where I left off and I put a second drive into my computer. But in the meantime, I will be doing some live streaming on Twitch every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Yep, I'm going to be streaming twice a week now at uh, 1.30 Pacific Standard Time, 1.30 p.m. And um, I've stated this many times to uh, my followers in Discord, and I might have stated it in my videos as well, but um, Wednesday, tomorrow, um, I'm going to be starting my first ever full playthrough of Mass Effect. It's not going to be blind, because I've pretty much seen like a full Let's Play of Mass Effect before, but um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll be able to finish up that full playthrough before Doom Eternal comes out, so I can stream that game for my birthday. So, anyway, I am Descent Freak. Thank you guys so much for watching this single-player Let's Play of Descent Maximum. And I shall see you guys next time. Either when I start streaming on Twitch again, or when I resume my Serious Sam 3 and Dust Let's Plays. So, get out of here, cutscene. Thank you guys once again for watching, and goodbye.